Hi everyone! Today I'm talking about a newly released uh, doTERRA uh, essential oil that is uh, Copaiba essential oil. It's a 15 milliliter bottle composed of four species of Copaiba. Copaiba is a resin and it's very exciting for me uh, to, for, for this oil to um, have come forth because Copaiba oil primarily affects our endocannabinoid system. So I'll try to say that really fast. And what that system does is that it, it's a group of receptors that uh, throughout our nervous system that uh, do multiple things um, and they are specifically with copaiva um, you know as opposed to uh, different uh, oils that you might have heard of that will uh, have psychoactive effects and are illegal in some places um, the good thing about uh, copaiva um, essential oil is that it is um, uh, uh, some more than half of its composition is the beta caryophyllene I think I'm saying that right which has does not have the CB1 interaction which CB1 is the receptors that have to do with the brain and the the ner uh, the, uh, the, the the brain and the nervous system um, and it has um, interactive interaction with um, CB2, which are the receptors that control the endocrine and the uh, immune systems. And the CB2 also I I in that um, are involved, the, the receptors are involved in um, regulating your appetite and in uh, regulating, like I said, your immune f function and also pain management. So that is why this oil is so super exciting for me is because I have an autoimmune issue with my thyroid um, and um, so I plan, I have been taking, but I plan on continuing taking this, adding uh, to my internal use of taking two to three drops of this in a veggie cap, um, which is a, a way to, to, to get it into your system. So Copaiba uh, it gives you support in your liver and as antioxidants. Um, it promotes cardiovascular health. It sustains proper immune uh, response. I'm just reading through the stuff that we learned uh, at convention. Um, helps with your digestive system. It also supports proper neurological function. Uh, so think of your memory. Um, and also proper respiratory function. So you can also combine it with frankincense, the king of oils, to, for increased cellular support. You can add it, uh, if you want to uh, taste it, you want to add it to water with some citrus. Um, and you can also put it directly under your tongue every morning. And for digestive uh, purposes, you can uh, blend with peppermint at mealtime. So what's uh, exciting about this is that you can also apply it topically over the affected area uh, diluted with fractionated coconut oil. And you can combine it with blue tansy for soothing relief uh, to skin irritations and to minimize blemishes. You can also blend with your face, facial moisturizer and, um, and cedar wood as well. So it does support uh, normal controlled inflammatory response and reduction of tissues and neurological excitation. So in terms of diffusing, you can diffuse this um, to calm and soothe your emotions and your neurological activity. Uh, you can also, if you want to, to uplift you, you can combine with citrus or combine it with Siberian uh, fur or a floral oil uh, to create relaxation. So these are some tips on how to use Copaiba essential oil. That's it. Have a great day.